Okay, and next you might want to look at the schedule. You've obviously got all of the league games, got broken down into the European games as well, and you've got your friendlies. One thing to look out for with the friendlies is that I don't like playing a big team before the start of the season. I like to play a bit of a bit of a poor team just to get the morale up a little bit, hopefully by winning the game by quite a few goals. But what I have started to do is sort of, you might want to play maybe, these two are quite good, just play like a couple of games. This is probably in a training camp, I would think. Play a couple of games, get some weaker teams, and then I would probably take the Wigan game and the Valicano game out. Katafi, all right, but I'd probably take those two out and play against some better teams. Just so that, particularly for the players that aren't going to be in your first eleven, you can get a feel for which of those players are going to perform well against a good team. And if they don't play well in those games, then you can probably get rid of them because obviously you don't want to play them against Fiorentina or someone like that, or an AC Milan, or if you, do you know what I mean? If you just had to. If you had to play them, can they cope with it? So I'd probably get rid of those two. So the way that you do that is you click on the fixture and you come down to here and you click cancel friendly. Do you want to cancel the friendly match? Yes. So that'll then get rid of the Wigan game. And then if I wanted to then change that, I would then go on a range friendly from the bottom. And I think it was here. Basically the green ones are where you can do friendlies. And then you come up to over here, so I might want a home game, 90 minutes only. And then you choose, and then you can basically decide which of these you want. So I'd want a similar team, maybe a foreign team. So maybe against Chelsea, something like that. Now the fee that's there, you can see that the fee is what you will pay Chelsea. And you'll pay them that much money to come and play against you. But obviously from the ticket sales that you'll get, you'll receive a million for it. So you are actually going to make money out of that friendly. So yeah, just click confirm and then that'll propose it. But if they're in that list, then they'll always accept it. So I've got the Chelsea game now. And then if I do it for the Viacano game, cancel the friendly. Yes. Um, and then I think that one was, could have been here. Maybe try an away game this time just to show you the difference. So let's do an away game against, let's have a look, maybe Newcastle. And what you'll notice on this is that the fee and the income are the same because obviously I've selected away. So Newcastle will now pay us 210,000 and that's the fee. Whereas if I changed it back to home and I did Newcastle, we would pay them 220 and we would receive well, it's 280 grand profit, so it would actually be better to play a home game for the sake of money, but I don't think Inter are going to worry about 80,000, but we'll do a home game anyway. So now we've got Newcastle and Chelsea, which just means that there's four tough games in a row. Probably should be a couple of them at least, but it just means that you get a bit, more, bit of a better feel because obviously if you ended up playing, say, five or six friendlies against really weak teams, you're probably going to beat them in every game, so it's not going to make any odds. Um, it's not really going to give you any information about your team and who you can pick and who you can't pick for later in the season. So that's pretty much it for the schedule, to be honest.